this is lush! Ah, oh, look at the view! Hell yes! So, I'm here at Mossdale in Scotland, in Dumfries and Galloway. We're on a canyon grizzle gravel bike junket and to be honest I think it's a fairly short ride today I mean beautiful ride around the coast yesterday and it's ahead of the Raiders gravel uh, event so but I figured I'm here I've got the GoPro so I'll kind of chat you to you a bit about gravel riding in the region and the upcoming Raiders event if that's all right and this is the Raiders road so it's kind of the meat and potatoes of the whole area and that's carefully chosen phrase because actually this used to be a potato smuggling road from Stranraer apparently Right, just a quick word on the grizzles we are riding. This is the CF8 SL, so not the SLX super light. So it's got the extra bottle cage mount down there. There it is under Dave Arthur, and uh, obviously that's the Grail. So that's the more race focused bike with the distinctive bike lane bars. Where's this? conventional bar and stem setup and you've got aspects like triple bosses on the fork legs and 50 mil tie clearance as well and that means you've got really confident handling even though the angles are outrageous still a 72.25 degree head angle 73 seat so it's not slacked out in terms of geometry but it just feels really solid and calm and also you can see you've got a specific Apogee bike packing bags. You've got a short frame bag and a top tube bag. So thanks very much for their modeling there, love. Right. <laughs> Actually Galloway Forest, 300 square miles, beautiful forestry, gravel roads. This is actually a public road. So you do watch out for cars coming the other way, being warned. And this is the Raiders Road, which is where the A area an event gets its name from and it's just proper gravel racing paradise you have the people from uh, scotland starts here and south scottish council people's liberation front of south scotland uh you know all those guys giving us a presentation last night and what's amazing is how kind of dense it is in terms of history and natural beauty and ice cream parlors and yeah basically proper little hot highlights that you normally have to travel hours for in a lot of environments just minutes away from each other out here like i say 300 square miles of forest it's actually the first designated dark skies park in western europe so we had a chat from the dark dark arts distillery gin people last night so that was interesting, you know, and there's just loads of little artisan. You know, this is a bike packing video, I've got to talk about artisan shit, so loads of little distilleries, gin distilleries, whiskey distilleries. Went to a really nice ice cream place last night. You know, arts festivals, food festivals, music festivals, all sorts going on locally. But the, I think the biggest deal, kind of the, the one they're not making the biggest deal out of, is the fact that because it's Scotland, it's fully open access and wild camping's legal so you know it really is a proper gravel wonderland you've got this huge area to explore and also i'm really surprised by how diverse the topography is you've actually got you've actually got the uh, highest village in england sorry highest village in scotland and the highest paved road in scotland as well not far away from here and the Gravels Raider event is actually over three days. It's a pairs event. And they reckon there's some proper challenging climbs. And I can believe that. Because you've got some real elevation to play with here. But the scenery is just stunning. And it's so convenient, you know. Riding little coastal coves yesterday. And now we're right into the woods. So quiet, so pretty important in terms of general history you know right back into prehistoric periods if you watch my videos involving Cornwall there's a real link all the way up this west coast but also you know right through Scottish history 
Robert the Bruce, Robert Burns, William Wallace, the Viking invasions. They've all had a centre here. From a bike history point of view, Kirkpatrick McMillan, who's credited with inventing the first proper bike, came from Kia in Dumfriesia. Although his infamous running over children accident actually happened in Gorbals on the edge of Glasgow. So, but you know, however you want to slice your history, whether it's ancient, medieval, Scottish or velocipedal, you're going to find something real interest here. Oh yeah. And it's, it's, you know, pretty damn convenient as well. Can't the M6 onto the M74 turn left and you kind of into the belly of it straight away no wonder they're uh, christening this campaign scotland starts here yeah, he's kind of the guy who started this all off so because i'm like that i'm going to ask him <laughs> on, what's on so hill. good about this gravel while we're riding up a hill <laughs> variety and uh, sheer quantity of gravel quantity of freedom quantity of access best gravel in the world I would say so. Yeah. I mean, you've got a vested interest in that, Undis but so far, okay, pretty undisputed. damn good. Undisputed. Best gravel in the world, bar none. There you go, folks. Heard it from the man himself. Warren said, such a diversity of trails here. Just pulling away. Actually, half the group's gone that way. Such more trad gravel. We're pulling up now. Gain a bit of elevation, try and find some single track. Because there's got to be plenty of that in here. There's a bunch of the original Seven Stain sites in this area as well. When Scotland opened up its first mountain biking centres. Although the action is kind of concentrated on Peebles now, Glentress in Elethan, A, Newcastleton, Glentrool, Carroch Tree, Dalbeatie. They're all like within half an hour's drive of here. Or well, most of them. I'm not sure about A. But you know, this has been a heartland of riding. And that's kind of why I think the locals are a bit cheesed off so everyone kind of flies past and just goes, Scotland, Fort William. Jeez, that's like three, four hours away from here. And the riding here is sensational. It really is. I'm not just saying that because they had excellent black pudding for breakfast in the Cali Palace where they put us up. But, you know, the event village and Gatehouse of Fleet, looks like it's gonna be a lovely spot. Gatehouse of Fleet itself, super pretty town where the event HQ is. And it's uh, designed to be a proper premium, all-inclusive event as well. So, looking forward to it, Chief. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Come on, time to give us an intro. Oh, to the event? Yeah, no, yeah. to you. Why are you here? Oh, to me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm Marcus. I'm, well, I'm here because I live in Scotland, possibly. Yeah. <laughs> um, Edinburgh, right? In Edinburgh. I run bikepacking in Scotland, so I... So you're kind of aware of the joys of bikepacking in Scotland anyway? Yeah, yeah. I think it's fair, fair to say. And yeah, lots of gravel riding as well, so yeah. it's just nice to explore a different part of Scotland. I haven't done too much down here. Yeah. And I'm writing a book about travel riding in the UK as well, so. Excellent, when's that out? It's like a proper chat show, this. You're even announcing the launch of your book. This is um, awesome. <laughs> uh, next year at some stage, so I guess May 2022. Yeah? So, yeah. Keep an eye out for that, what's it called? Um, ISBN number? Not sure All good booksellers? To be decided. Oh, come on. I'm trying my best Graham Norton here, and, you, and you're dropping me in it. It's the world's great publishing. Right, cool, yeah. And it's going to be Home of all great guide bike books. Yeah, I love the guide books. Bike guide books? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, descent coming up. We best not die on camera. Marcus will be cross. We don't want to get on Friday fails. <laughs> oh, yeah, again, look at me. One-handed. Lovely and stable, despite the geometry. Been pretty, you know, it's not far off a road bike. There's just something inherently calm about this bike. Forks are pretty hard to do, especially when you start putting drillings for yeah, everything packs in. Yeah. But stable under braking, no twang or judder. 
put his GRX brakes on and yeah and it's kind of weird the best bikes in this category are inevitably kind of a compromise that balance between road and gravel and almost mountain bike once you get into this more adventure segment and they're just going to be the most friendly placid capable bikes you could want it's kind of the ultimate kudos which doesn't sound that exciting but when it lets you just like calmly drop in no brakes down an old fire brake like this lean those tires in zero drama that's what you want and this is such a kind of sure-footed solid bike to do it on but just over nine kilos so it's not heavy it's got a nice power kick and then if you do want a lighter sprightlier version you've got the SLX which has lighter frame same mold same layer you know same shape and same features apart from the lack of a belly bolt set up but just a lighter stiffer carbon weave if you've watched my uh, neuron slx lux slx videos you'll be familiar with their slx carbon tech it's kind of like the premium level composite stuff but as soon as we're onto this more fluid trail it's it's properly flying i mean obviously a lot of that's down to G1 tyres, running on 28 front, 30 rear, and GR 1800 DT Swiss rims, so you know, you're never going to go wrong with DT Swiss wheels, but great, you know, they, they, with the grail was a bit controversial with the bars and the fact it's quite a racy feeling, I mean I'm a massive fan of it, bloody love it, and if I'm honest that's probably the bike I'd go for, just for a bit more bite and a bit more pop, but this, for whatever what you want to do, you know, bike packing, commuting, gravel riding, whatever that is, light MTB, world touring. This is, they properly aced it with this one. It's just, just bloody brilliant, you know? Yeah, it's kind of, if you've watched McCanyon Spectral CF8 video, that's almost so good, it's almost kind of underwhelming and it's very much the same with this bike it's so good you kind of don't realize how good it is because it just does everything brilliantly there's not like any yin and yang to it to provide contrast it's just totally sorted ride feel bit of kick stability kit levels when I mean, this is a three grand bike with built off the range grx 800 no, yeah, the canyon kit on it's all really sorted like I say, top spec wheels, top spec tyres in terms of durability. Uh, yeah, I mean, happy days. I mean, I hope you can hear all this with the wind noise. I'm shouting, but yeah, oh, and I've absolutely massively outrun everybody. So maybe I should stop and I'll think about what I've got left to say about the bike. Oh yeah, and the luggage. Really nice Apertura luggage. Again, you know, they've not just done they've not just done a collaboration they've not just made their own which would probably be fine canyon don't piss about with the details they go into quality but they specifically partnered with apertura premium bike packers bike pack bags probably the original bike pack bags really and made this really nice custom set so again just tons of quality all through it but without having to pay that premium and not only the direct sell but now you can also get the bikes on cycle scheme so even if you're going for like the top spec SLX with DI2, you know, cycle seam, it stands up to £10,000 now. So everything's on the table with your employer helping out. Look at the scenery, it's gorgeous. Thank you, Dumfries and Galloway. Scotland starts here and, you know, your next gravel adventure. I'd be really, really hard pushed to, pray, you know, say go try somewhere else just because the access. You know, whether you're camping or not, it's just such a bonus. It's about the only traffic you can expect to get. A bit of harvester action. And because it's a gravel edit, you've got to have maximum log pile edits in there, obviously. Even if Brucey Boy is giving it his best cycle cross kick. See, this grizzle still hangs in there. 
Not bad under power. Now this is where that 50 mil tire capacity. I mean, I'm only rolling on 45 at the moment, but it's so smooth. And then you've got that really clever split stem VCLS seat post in the back. So when you're seated, you've got a fair amount of suspension movement, basically a really clever leaf spring. I mean, I'll do a tech talk as well, so you can kind of see the details when I'm not doing fly out down a gravel descent. But the wind noise is probably pretty brutal. But hell yeah! Just figured you'd want to see the footage. This is lush! Repack! Feel like I need a clunker with a back pedal brake. Ah, oh, look at the view! Hell yes! And, well, the current options are all Shimano with just one cam pad on the SLX. There's going to be a bunch of SRAM options coming shortly for reasons I'm not allowed to disclose at the moment. So you can fill those gaps in. GRX is pretty sweet today though. Hell yeah! Not that I'm needing to touch the brakes. again so in the ever popular short series of asking people about what they're doing with the event while climbing up a hill here's Malcolm Smith from Galazzo event organizers well hello I'm Malcolm Smith from Galazzo event I've said that bit Raiders gravel thanks I would repeat it again because <laughs> it's easier than thinking while I'm going uphill so so what it was the guys from Galloway who kind of tripped you off. It was absolutely right. Because you've already, you're, I mean, already a big successful events company, sort of moving into gravel. You did the gravel championship, is that right? Correct, that's right. We've got the uh, British gravel championship actually coming up. We've not done it yet. That's in September. But yeah, we got a call out of the blue off the back of that from Warren Sanders, a Nesta. man who, a man who I can only describe as being utterly off his rocker. But he had the brilliant idea of getting us to come up here and check out this amazing territory. Two um, amazing territory pictures. Amazing territory. There we go. Well, off the territory off, being amazing. Yeah, off the back of that, we sat down, scratched <laughs> our heads, and thought, how can we really make something amazing here to keep people here to enjoy it for a few days rather than arriving, riding, and clearing off again? Yeah. Hence the concept of Raiders Gravel. This is Raiders Road. Cute picture of Raiders Road, by the way. Yeah, Raiders Road. No potatoes being smuggled. No Malcolm is in Lycra, but... <laughs> so, three-day event. Three-day event, absolutely right. And then we also figured that the, uh, we wanted to make it an amazing experience, the actual thing as well. So, we've conceived a festival with live feed from the racing. We've got music entertainment. Lots of great food and beer, whiskey, and gin sponsors for pre dinner drinks every night. Wow, so What's that's, not that's, like? that's uh, the Dark Skies Gin Company. That's the Dark Skies Gin, yeah. Sky Garden, Dark yeah. Art Distillery. Sorry, Dark Arts Distillery, that's the one. I'm afraid I have to correct you on that. Yeah, no, it's Dark that's... Art. Yeah. No S. Oh. And that comes from the fact that Forrester Galloway is a Dark Skies Park. Dark Skies Park, the Nemogen Sky Garden, and uh, yeah, this is exactly where the Raiders Gravel is being set. And the gradient's going up. Yep. How much longer do you want this to go on for? Oh, I don't know. We're crushing out in a minute, Malcolm. <laughs> so what else do you need to say? Dates? Well, dates, so the dates. Raiders Gravel 8th to the 10th of October this year. Entries at? Entries at. So, entries, entries, entries. Entries at www.raidersgravel.com And there'll be full first aid support for anyone full collapsing on the climbs. 
Absolutely, our GPS tracking for teams. <laughs> I've mentioned it's teams of two. Uh, I did earlier, but you can go again. Very good. This guy, yeah, teams of two. Uh, lots of classifications. Including e-bikes? Really e-bike classification, women's classification, men's mixed, a lot. Excellent. Great fun. Right, I'll let you get on with climbing now. Thank you. That's me. I know. And there is actually some proper climbing on this event. Definitely. And of course, for the e-bike category, why not try a Grail on? Yeah, All the beautiful advantages of the Grail package, including that bike bone bar, <laughs> but with full Bosch motor and battery power. Marvellous for these Galloway inclines. Exactly, you don't have to work. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at that for a view. Happy days. actually some traffic coming the other way, so not going too giddy on the racing lines now. But hundreds and hundreds of K of roads like this out there, even beyond what they're kind of curated for the Raiders gravel. And unless you're really taking the pace in terms of way of pushing up to people's windows and stuff. Pretty much it is genuinely open access. All around here. And you can camp where you want as well, so like I say, pretty much bike packing gravel paradise out here in Dumfries and Galloway. Yes I and this grizzle it doesn't like dropping a gear. Really doesn't. I love was getting a gear on and holding it impressively well. Remember, this is the heavier, smoother carbon spec, and it's not even Canyon's dedicated gravel race bike. That's the Grail. So yeah, every box. Every bike packing bag pretty much ticked. Seriously impressed. What's the verdict, Dave? Good, mate. Awesome. Get in it. Sweet gravel. Sun shining. Yeah, if you want to get a much better quality edit, Film the bare equipment. Have a look when Dave's comes out. <laughs> I mean, look at the scenery. Even if you're on the road. It's pretty damn lush out here. Panorama! And clattering chores, I do believe, is our coffee stop. So, happy days. So I'm kind of too excited to have coffee anyway. So I've just come down to the lakes, the lock side uh, here at the coffee stop. And just going to do a quick tech talk around on this grizzle. Uh, like I say, this is the uh, SL frame set rather than the SLX. So you get uh, extra bottle mounts on the belly, a slightly heavier frame, uh, but exactly the same features otherwise. So you've got a triple fork uh, mounts there. You've got these two standard bottle mounts on the frame as well. Got fixtures for a front mech if you need it. Tons of travel room, uh, tons of tire room with that drop chain stay there. Take up to 50 mil in 700C or on a 650 uh, B size, uh, you get that on the small, sorry, the extra small and the extra, extra small to keep the uh, geometry correct. Uh, full, you know, only carbon frames at the moment, uh, but you know, really nicely put together, internal cable routing. Uh, another bottle mount, another bag mount on the top there, and you'll have seen on some of the bikes today there is actually an Apigura bag that goes with that. Uh, custom Apigura small top tube bag as well on there, so you know, custom luggage. They've really thought the detailing through again. Uh, conventional bar and stem. This is the GRX version, like I say, there's an eCar version in the SLX, and then SRAM versions are coming shortly. Uh, physique. 
uh, Argo saddles, uh, I reviewed those, really good, you know, it's the Argo gravel, so you've got a little sort of splash protector through the centre there, nice and broad, really flexible shell, deliberately designed for off-road riding, and then you've got this uh, VCLS post underneath, so as you can see it's actually kind of two posts, uh, which can flex uh, like a leaf spring against each other, and then you've got this parallelogram flip head uh, that gives you, gives you a fore and aft saddle position. So that lets the whole uh, seat kind of flex backwards uh, like a leaf spring as you're riding, add an extra bit of comfort there. But you know, although it's not got any you know obvious kind of slimming or curving of the seat stays there, it's still really comfortable frame, uh, especially with these larger volume uh, Schwalbe tyres in there. It's a Schwalbe G1 bite, so it's the slightly grippier version. Uh, got a little more, uh, you know, lug on the side there, but still it's fast rolling off and on road. Uh, what size are these? These are the 45s. Uh, and again, DT Swiss uh, GR1800 rims. So really, really solid rim. And then uh, Shimano uh, GRX800 uh, uh, gearing throughout. Uh, this single training setup, you can get a double as well, like I say. And also the other thing about the uh, seat post is it's actually anchored there. So your seat post wedges right down in the uh, seat tube. So you've still got that much flex within the frame. So you're maximizing the kind of leaf spring effect on there. To be honest, I really like this uh, sort of pistachio uh, spatter paint finish, but they also do a more subdued finish as well. And uh, availability currently on site looks about November on most sizes as I talk through. But yeah, loads of different models, loads of different kit levels. And flipping it around, you can see really neat flat mount installation there, 160 mil discs, so plenty of stopping power. You've got the finned rotors to suck up the heat if you're doing heavily loaded, extended, descending. And then you've got the GRX crank, so it's an alloy crank, you know, that'll take plenty of abuse compared to a carbon crank. It's still pretty light, very stiff, super proven system. The only issue I think some people are going to have is the fact that it's got a press foot bottom bracket, which is a bit of a weird decision on the bike that they've deliberately kind of pitched as an adventure bike. You'd maybe think they'd go for a threaded in bottom bracket just because it's a single standard and it's easy to replace if you're out in the wild. But press fit is a lot more reliable than it used to be. So, well, you'll know whether that's a deal breaker or not. Uh, it's not for me to make a call. It's just for me to point it out. So there you go. Uh, really quick uh, ride into to Raiders Gravel, to the Dumfries and Galloway area in general and to the... Uh, Canyon Grizzle, actually probably not going to be quick in the end. I probably shot quite a lot of footage, but such a gift for filming out here as well as riding. Uh, you know, you just have to forgive me on that. But massive thanks to Canyon for uh, putting on this uh, junket, to Galazzo, the event organisers, to uh, Warren and Esther, our guides, uh, Cali Palace Hotel, where we were last night, uh, Giro Cycling for sponsoring the channel with PEs and with CRUD. Thanks to my Patreon supporters who subscribe to the channel on a monthly basis. Uh, if you really like what I'm doing, please consider joining them for extended, early and exclusive edits. And you also get them ad-free, which is another bonus for just helping out the channel on a monthly basis and making it easier to me to put aside time to create these edits. Because, you know, this is a glorious way to spend a day and I cannot recommend uh, you know, heading into Scotland and turning left, which is the whole principle behind Scotland starts here. Amazing, definitely coming back here as soon as I can. I mean, what a fantastic resource and the open access thing, I keep going on about it, but that's such a big deal. But for now, uh, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, click for notifications, uh, give this video a thumbs up if you really like it, and tell your mates. So for now, I've been Guy Kestevan on Guy Kest TV, talking about the new Canyon Grizzle SL8.